We, we talked with uh, Yu Jing Lin, who's in the um, lab at King's College London, mm -hmm. and she says that's one of the beautiful things about DNA and polygenic scores is it isn't changing. You only have to collect it once from a person. Just get a little spit and you're exactly. done. You never have to go back for that variable. Exactly. And so given that that's the case, even though there, there are environmental uh, effects and so on that we can talk about, if you can predict from DNA alone uh, an individual's outcome or the differences between adult siblings, because remember, that's the context of embryo selection. An adult sibling has the same genetic relationship to another sibling as an embryo would to another embryo. Mm -hmm. And so if you can predict the differences between adult siblings, as well as the absolute you know, numbers, on, say for height or whatever else, adult siblings, then there's just no reason to expect that it wouldn't work in embryos given that it's the, the same DNA.